Anytime that you send voiceover to a client, you want it to be as clean as possible and you want it to be ready for them to use however they're going to use it. But sometimes as you listen back to it, you're going to hear mouth clicks. If you hear the click when you record, I normally would just redo that line, but sometimes you don't hear it until you actually start editing, which happens to be the case with this one that I just came across. So right now I'm working on a voiceover for a client. It's under a minute long, so I'm editing the file myself and I was listening back to it. And I happen to hear a, a few clicks in the word. So I'll play it right here, see if you can hear it. Push through the clutter. Push through the clutter. So you can hear a few clicks in the word clutter. Uh, you may or may not be able to hear that depending on how you're listening to this. But the more you listen to your voiceover, especially your own voiceover, the easier it's going to become to pick up on clicks in your voice. So right now I have two options to fix it. I could redo this line, which sometimes I do. Or I can use a tool in Adobe Audition to remove it. That's what I'm going to do for this one. So when you hear the click, uh, what you want to do is you want to zoom into the area where that click is. And I'm going to go up here and I'm going to say show spectral frequency display. And that's going to show the frequencies. So inside that word clutter, if I zoom in a little bit, you can see these peaks right here. These lines are the lines that are causing those clicks. So again, I'll go up here to the navigation and I will uh, make sure that I'm on the spot healing brush tool. And all you have to do is just uh, press your mouse and just erase those lines and that's gonna blend it in. So you're not deleting those frequencies completely, but you are just cleaning it up like that. And you just wanna make it look, um, uh, blend it in as best as you can. It kinda does the work for you, but you, you can see those peaks uh, for that clicky part. So what I'll do, I'll play it back and see if it sounds any better. Push through the clutter. Push through the clutter. Push through the clutter. All right, so that sounds better. So uh, that's how you would use the spot healing brush inside Adobe Audition to get rid of clicks inside words. If it's not in the word, it's really easy. If it's just in the, the space between the word, what you do is just delete the click that happened uh, between the words. But if it's in the word, that's a little bit uh, trickier. So I use that spot healing brush. Uh, inside Adobe Audition. All right, I hope that helps you. If it did, make sure that you leave a comment and let me know. And uh, if you want more help with starting and growing a voiceover business, make sure that you download the free five-step guide. It's at voiceacting101.com slash get started. I'll talk with you next time. Have a great day.